Welcome back to Sawbones Barbecue. Today we have some new equipment to unleash. I'm excited to show it and try it out a little bit. But before we get to that, one important piece of housekeeping is June 8th, 2024, which means we are about five months away from our presidential election. Sawbones Barbecue is an apolitical zone. So we are going to make one and exactly one political statement and we'll never speak of it again. For president and vice president, we endorse brisket and ribs. If you disagree, you're wrong. Move along. That's all we have to say about politics and we'll never speak of it again. Now, back to our purpose of the day, the Auto Wild Grill. I am extremely excited about this. I've wanted one for a long time and they finally put it on sale enough to tempt me into buying my fifth grill and weighing the cost of that against how much my wife thinks I'm crazy. But I have bought one and I'm very excited about it. I thought these were made in Germany and then I look at the thing and it says fragile. So it must be from Italy. Well, I think that says fragile, honey. Oh, yeah. But all joking aside, this is what the thing looks like on their website. You got your grill sitting on top of your stand. It all looks very nice. It comes with covers and accessories and whatnot. And here's what it looks like when it arrives on your doorstep in half a dozen boxes. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and kind of put this thing together. And then when that's all said and done, uh, we'll cook some steaks on it and, and give it a whirl and see how it goes. I did, I couldn't resist. I had to get the cover because I can't stand a grill with no cover on it. And the cover, conveniently enough for me, confirms that it is indeed made in Germany because it's got German written on it. And it says on it, well, I'll just open the thing up. How about that? It says Auto Wild Serious Grillers. And then the tagline is Fleisch ain't no Furlefants, if I said it correctly. My German kind of sucks. And I will confess I had to Google that because I have no idea what that means. And it means meat ain't no nonsense. And I realized these are my people. I've made an absolutely correct decision to buy this. I haven't even opened a box yet and I already know that I love it. So I'm very excited. So we'll put the cover aside and we're gonna crack into this bad boy and see what we got here. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get in there and take a look at it. Put that knife away, it'd be kind of embarrassing if I slice my finger off while I'm trying to do a video here. So we got the auto grill operating manual. Be sure to read before using. I will make a note of that. Uh, we got a hose for the propane tank. This looks like the handle that goes on the outside to operate the grill rack, I think. So I'll set that aside. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Not that big. I was kind of thinking it was going to be bigger than this. I wonder, it's probably big enough to fit two steaks in there anyway. It's heavy. Whoa. There we go. Without further ado, the Auto Wild Grill. All right, before I break anything, I think I'll set that aside and maybe actually read the directions and be a little careful taking it apart. So we'll set this guy aside and then we're gonna get all these boxes cracked open and build the stand for it. We'll get it set up outside on the deck and we'll see you out back for some grilling later.
Okay, we're back and we're finally ready to grill. We have the grill tested out. It's preheating right now. It's sitting on the grill stand, which I'm really happy with. It looks really nice. It's got lots of drawer and storage space and it's got a spot in the bottom for the propane bottle. So I'm very happy with it, but I will admit the assembly was an absolute bitch. How are you doing over there? Really good. Okay. Did your son know anything about carpentry? No, not a, not a, did I hear a drill? We did it. We did it. It looks amazing. Look at that. You like guacamole? Ah! Really, really painful. It took us about four hours, four and a half hours to get it done. So definitely some assembly required. But now it's done and we're ready to rock. So these steaks have been pre-cooked in the sous vide machine. We're skipping that in the spirit of brevity, but we basically vacuum bagged the steaks with plenty of herbs, lots of rosemary and thyme and garlic, cooked them to an internal of 133 degrees. Uh, we let them go for about 90 minutes, which is more than enough for a steak of this thickness. And now we're ready to test out the auto wild and give them a sear. So it's got various heights you can adjust it to and various temps we're gonna start with um, about 60 to 90 seconds aside right in the middle and see what that does for us. So our iron is screaming hot. It's already at 600 degrees, so we're definitely ready to go. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Let's see how we do. We've got little tongs here so you don't barbecue your hands, which is nice. I appreciate that. So our first steak going in, here we go. I can smell it already, it smells great. Smell the herbs and the meat is sizzling. I'm gonna kinda of keep an eye since it's my first try doing this to make sure I don't overdo it. I'm thinking somewhere between 60 to 90 seconds. We're getting a little bit of flame spitting out over it and I'm seeing it start to get a nice crust already. And man, that looks sexy, wow. It's cooking fast. That's getting a real nice crust. I think maybe 60 seconds is all we need. But that's got a beautiful color on it, wow. Okay, the steaks are done and they look fantastic. We're just about ready to cut into them. So I saved all the herbs and garlic from the sous vide pouches and I've got that on the stove with a whole bunch of butter just kind of simmering. So you can make a nice little garlic and herb infused butter to drizzle the steaks with. Very important to get all of that off of the steaks before you do the high temp cook because the herbs would definitely scorch. So we're just using them to flavor the butter and then the steak's gonna get a drizzle of butter and salt and pepper to taste, and they're ready. So without further ado, we'll see how we did on the cook here. It looks phenomenal. little drizzle of the herb butter on there. And if you like garlic, you can throw the garlic chunks right on there too. That's kind of nice. I'll just put a little bit of salt. You can add more if you see fit. A little bit of the finishing salt. This is the pink Himalayan salt. And then this is the, this is the fancy pepper, the smoked cam pot pepper. I've never had this before. So this pepper mill is freaking awesome. This is the man kitchen pepper cannon. This is my birthday present from FT, and it's phenomenal. It's getting some good use right now. This thing puts out a ton of pepper though, so if, if you don't like pepper, be careful. So that one's ready. Rinse and repeat. I gotta have a bite while well, I can't take anymore. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This looks really, really good.
Mm. That's spot on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, for a first run, that is not too bad. We have lots more experimenting to do with the Auto Wild, but max heat for 90 seconds aside, that put a beautiful crust on it, and damn, does that taste good. I mean, really, really good. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw today, click subscribe, and throw us a comment. If you have any ideas for a future video you'd like to see, put it in the comments, and we'll see what we can do. Until next time, meat ain't no nonsense.